My Lab Excel Understanding the Number of Question Attempts. Are you interested in limiting the number of tries students have on a particular problem? Or are you considering limiting the number of times they can iterate a new version of the problem? Let's learn more about these options in your My Lab product. Step 3 of the Assignment Creation Wizard lets you choose assignment settings. You can either do this by assignment or change settings for multiple assignments. When you create a homework assignment or edit a homework assignment, you choose settings such as start and end dates and review options. One of those options is the attempts per question. Under access controls on assignment settings, you can check this option box to specify how many times a student can click similar exercise or try again button to attempt a homework question. You can enter the desired number in this box. When students complete a homework question, a similar exercise or try again button appears and allows them to generate the question again. The similar exercise button generates the same questions with different values. Try again will refresh the same version of the question. If the attempts per question option is unchecked, students can generate a new version of the question as many times as they want. You can use this option to limit the number of times students can click similar exercise or try again. For example, if you specify two attempts, students can work the question twice and then the buttons will no longer be available. If you set the limit to two or more, students will use one of their attempts when they access Help Me Solve This learning aid. If you allow only one attempt, the Help Me Solve This does not count as an attempt. When you limit the number of attempts, students will see a message about the number of attempts available per question before and after they work on the assignment. They will also see a warning before their last attempt at a question. You can edit these settings for individual students or edit the setting for the entire class by choosing those options from the drop-down menu on the Homework Test Manager page. Within each question, you can also limit the number of times a student can submit an answer before the question is graded and considered complete. Let's navigate to an assignment you are editing or building and click on View Assignment Details. This will open a screen where you can adjust scoring options for your assignment, such as numeric answer tolerance, credit for unsimplified answers, the tries within each question, requiring students to show work, modification of learning aids, and more. In the check boxes in the left-hand column, you can choose which questions you want to modify or choose the box at the top to select all. Then you can make the changes you would like to apply. For example, if we only wanted students to have two attempts within each question, then we could select all questions, click two, and apply to selected. That will mean the student only has two attempts within a particular question before it is marked as answered and either right or wrong. Please note any settings you make to questions in the coordinator course are inherited by member of courses in the course group. This setting does not affect the number of times that students can attempt the entire question. For example, you could give students five attempts at the entire question, but limit the number of tries per part to two. In this case, students could click Check Answer twice before being marked incorrect, but they could click Similar Exercise and regenerate the problem with new numbers a maximum of five times. Thank you for watching our video about student attempts on questions in your MyLab product.